Hi, y'all. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. So, as we all know, today is Christmas, duh. And I am Neil. If you are new here, I am Neil. And I really hope that you stay. And if you've been here for a minute, welcome back. And I hope that everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I just wanted to come on here and show you guys what I got for Christmas. There might be a part two to this video because, um, other presents that I got from like my aunts and uncles and stuff like that, I haven't gotten them yet because I didn't go to the family house this this morning. So um, I'm just going to show you what I got from my home and also what I got from co-workers. This video is going to be a no um, kind of order. I'm just going to go with it. I don't want it too long. So let's just hop right into this video. So whatever I grab, we're just gonna go with it so this first gift that i got and i will say like who it who it came from it was from my neighbor and i love her so much she got me this cute little um lunch hello kitty lunch box but of course i will probably use it for my work bag and so when i switch out my work bag, because i also have another hello kitty work bag but i'll switch it over to this and we'll do a what's in my work bag video and she also got me a hello kitty watch which is not with me right now so um yeah but i love her so much thank you thank you thank you for that the next gift i got right here and like i said with no order we're just gonna go because i mean it's not big but it's, you know, I'm going to make this video long. The next gift is like a little keepsake box that my mom got for all of us. So, in it was some socks. Yes. And some hair combs because she knows I love... When my hair is not done, I'm combing some hair and I'm always losing hair combs. Um, some candies. She got me some candy. Oh, more candy M&M's because if you know, if you know, if you know, I love me the yellow M&M's. Peanut M&M's. Man, that's my stuff. That is my joint right there, y'all. And this little Hello Kitty little box. I guess you keep like little stuff in here. So I'll probably keep like some ink pens and stuff in here. And a Hello Kitty shirt. So cute so cute in love with it so i'm trying to find ways to put this y'all but i got stuff everywhere so okay got it all right the next gift was from my mom and my boys of course they're not old enough to work but she put their names on them put their names on it so that was really cute and she just they just got me these little um little slip your feet in shoes of uh, they're really cute they're different very colorful very very colorful so i'll definitely be wearing those love it thank you guys um okay this i love this bag this bag is just beautiful beautiful bag um this was also from my mom and my dad wait for it wait for it can y'all guess? Can y'all guess? <laughs> Hello Kitty pajamas. Oh my God. I love them. Absolutely love them. And here's the top. I cannot wait to put that on. I got that. Got that. Okay. Next. Like I said, I don't want this video to be long and it's going to take forever to edit. Next for my mom. She got me this hello kitty hoodie hello kitty friends and hoodies i love this so cute so cute does it have anything on the sleeves no okay that's fine um I'm trying to see okay so we did secret santa at my job and my secret santa she she uh knows i love hello kitty so she got me a hello kitty wallet she got me some bath salt. Oops. She got me a candle, which this is, what is this? Apple cinnamon. And I'm sorry that I'm going fast. I just don't want y'all to be here all day and all night on Christmas. 
Um, some little scented things for your car. Oops. It's cute. And a $5 gift card to TCBY. I've never had it, but I think my boys love it. And we're going to try it out one day. So thank you to my secret Santa. Next, my lead teacher in my classroom. Um, I love in, in the men's section and Bath and Body Works. And I will rock this. I do not care. It smells good. I like it. I do not care. I rock it for myself. But I love it. It is the coffee and whiskey. And she knows that. And she got me the whole set. So, kudos to her. It's the coffee and whiskey. And you guys, it smells so good. Oh, my God. Like, oh, it smells so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. And one of the other teachers in our um, school, she also got me this. She got us this with our names on it. And this is so cute, reusable. Um, once the chocolate's gone, I'll probably put, like, cotton balls or q-tips i'll probably put anything in it but i love this she made this and it was so sweet and there's other things that i got from other co-workers that i don't have with me but i got blankets i got um hand soap i got so much stuff from people from work so um half of it's already put up so shout out to everybody who got me something from work i like i said i couldn't put on this video because half of it i am we're already using it so yeah, that's that. But thank you, thank you, thank you. The next gift I got was one of, was from one of the parents um, in my classroom, and I thought, well, actually, and, I, and from my parents, I got three gifts. One of my gifts, one of the uh, kids gave me fifty dollars, and then uh, this is a gift, and then I also got another gift from another parent in here, and she got me, she got us this teacher survivor kit this is so cute i love this bag i love it love it love it and in the bag she got us a bracelet that says teach oops can you guys see it i don't know if you can see it says teach and i also got she gave me another candle which this is a juicy watermelon slice and also a pen because we need pins at our daycare. Like, we, we need them. We need them. So, I love that. I love it. I love it. And I can't wait to use this bag. And I'll probably put, like, um some Tylenol, Band-Aids, and stuff in here once I do uh, use it, take it to work with me. I'll put it in my... um. I'll put it in my work bag, uh, my feminine products. I'll put it all in this. But I love this. And then... <laughs> My mom got me this, and I was so excited because I was like, oh, she got me something from Michael Kors. I was like, oh, my God. Y'all, I got so excited. So excited. Like, thank you. She got me something from Michael's, y'all. This little lady got me. <laughs> a cup. A cup with some bath bombs in it. But you know what? I love it. It's pink. It says love. And like I said, it has four bath bombs. It has a, a, a shower loofah in it. And I am going to be using it, but it she she got me, she got me. I was like, oh my god, Michael Kors! Like, y'all, I was so ready. I didn't know what was in here, but I was I was excited. But she got me on that one. <coughs> um, my mom also got me some chocolates, some turtles. I love these. I love them. They're so good. Um, especially when you're just you know at nighttime and you just want something to snack on, you get like one or two of these and you're set. So it's a whole big bag. Um, what is this? Is this mine? I don't know how my kids' gift got in here because this is not this is definitely not mine. Put that over there. And one of my other co-workers, she got me this cute little let it snow basket. It comes with cups, comes with chocolate, and yeah, is that it? Okay, and oh, butterscotch. Okay, candies and all that kind of good stuff. Little cookies. So I love this. Um, I really feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know what. I don't know. Um, from one of my other students, like I was telling you, um, they got us some 
what are these cookie cookie makers the cookie what are these y'all what the freak are these <laughs> they to make the cookies with you yeah, y'all know what i'm talking about i can't even think of the <laughs> cookie makers the cookie shapers she i don't know i don't know she got us this and she got us this right here this thing you know the cookie thing and she also gave us some chocolates but of course i already ate those they were so good and she gave us each a $50 gift card to Target. Yes, yes, yes. My babies and their parents love us. They love us. Yes, yes, yes. And then, um, okay, oh yeah, and this was a gift. Um, I don't know if y'all guys you guys remember way back I had did a haul with from Burlington and all, and I had got a rope. That rope was actually too small, so I ended up giving it to my son. And this lady that um, my mom sits for, she gifted my boys with two robes. And my boys don't really wear robes. So I ended up getting one of my boys' robe. So this is one. And I love robes. Like, I love them. This one is a long one. So I got that. And then my mom got me this cute one. Cute little robe. And it's the USP. The, I guess it's the knockoff of the polo. But I don't care, y'all. I just love, and this one is a short robe, but I actually, I just love it. And just, you know, when you're just cold and everybody else in the house is not cold or whatever, you know, I just, I just love robe. Like right now, I'm just cozy, 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 cozy. Okay. Now, I ended up getting myself something for Christmas because, yes, I have to be extra. Like I had to be extra. So let's go ahead and see what I got myself for Christmas. But first, let, let's. Give it up for this bag, man. Look how beautiful this is. Santa Claus is coming to town. It's pink. I love it. I do not want to get rid of this bag. Like, let's just take a moment to look. If I knew how to do thumbnails, y'all, I'm going to learn how to do all this stuff. I'm going to learn. Just watch. Just watch. Okay, so the first thing I got is from Forever 21. And it is a mat. It is a bathroom mat, but of course, you know, I won't be using it for the bathroom, you know, like I had on that other hall where I had my other um, bath mat is just going to be for the side of my bed for when I get up and it is cold because like I told you, our house is all hardwood, so it gets cold really, really quick. So that's that. And for the hoodie that my mom had got me, I ended up finding the, the matching pants, but I would never wear them as a set together. But these are the pants. So cute. I hope this video isn't cheesy. And yes, I got a lot of Hello Kitty stuff. Y'all know, like I'm a I'm like crazy addicted to Hello Kitty. And um I got this. My son actually got this for me. He did. He knew how much I liked it, so he picked it out. He got it for me. When we went to Target one night, but I put that as for myself, but he got it for me, y'all. My son did. And I got another Hello Kitty shirt from Hello, from Hello, from um, Forever 21. And then on the back, it has Hello Kitty. Okay, girl, you got to get back in this bag. And... A hoodie and I got this from uh, Route 21 and on the back and I think on yeah and on one of the sides it says Hello Kitty so I love it I love it I love it and last but not least um, this last thing I have been wanting forever I meant for a long time and I actually just buckled down and got it yesterday. It was actually supposed to be a gift for my mom, but I think that she was just like, okay, I already got you too much stuff. So she ended up with one and I ended up with one, but I have been wanting this forever, forever, forever. And like I said, I just finally just buckled down yesterday when we went to Lenox Mall and just got it. Um, yeah, so, you know, I work hard. I go, you know... I deserve to play a little hard. And plus, um, it's been a minute since I purchased what I got. So, 
Um, it was time for a new one anyway, so I will tell you where it came from. I will show you the paper. Mark Jacobs. Can anybody take a guess? Can you take a guess? Can you take a guess what it is? Huh? And they still have it wrapped up and it came in the box, the Mark Jacob box. But I don't want to take it out yet because I'm not ready. But it is, as you can see, it is the Mark Jacob the tote bag. And I have been wanting this forever. And um Actually, I've got this one and I also want the leather one. I want the brown leather one. So I will go back and purchase that soon. But yes, so I got one. My mom got one. So you know what? I'm satisfied. So that's all I got myself for Christmas. And that is all my Christmas stuff. And I hope that you guys had a wonderful Christmas as well. And I hope that, you know, your family's doing well, everything. And I also want to do a story time because Christmas is not just about gifts. It's not about giving. And sometimes I think that we forget what is the true meaning of Christmas. And the true meaning is, you know, the day that Christ was born. And we get so wrapped up on, you know, the, the presents, the gifts that people give us and what we give them that we really truly forget what the true meaning of Christmas is. So, um, I am like you guys, you know, I've told you before, I am on like my journey to getting right with God and, you know, trying to do things, you know, on the right path. Yes, I'm human. I'm I'm still getting there. I still, you know, get upset because I do all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm human. You know, I'm just learning to get to that point, you know, trying to get on my you know, the right path with God and all this kind of stuff. But earlier this week, Monday night to be exact, I had a dream. And usually I never remember my dreams when I wake up or, <clears throat> you know, of course, like by now I would, I would forget that dream. But this dream stuck with me so much that I wanted to share it with you guys. So in the dream, um, there's this big, huge, huge lake, like huge lake. And, um, I got in the, you, you had to cross. They told you that you had to cross. I don't know who the people were, but they were like, you have to cross, you know, to get to the other side. You cannot use a boat. You have to swim. You have to swim to get to the other side. And I was like, you know, okay. You know, and I'm looking at the water, you know, um, it's muddy water. And me personally, I hate like water that you cannot see the bottom of. Like I only like swimming pool water. I can't stand beach water lake water all that stuff because i need to be able to see what was down below you know what i'm saying so you know in the dream they're like yeah that's the only way you can get by is you know you swim you have to swim you have to swim sorry about that y'all i had to help my kids with something but in anyway in the dream i'm you know i'm just i'm like i'm not even panicking that i have to cross this huge lake like not panicking or anything so i'm like okay so I get in the water. I mean, you guys, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. I'm swimming, swimming, swimming. So finally, when I get to the other side, like, of course, everything in the background was a blur. It, everything was a blur. But I did. I do know that there was a couple of my friends there. There was a couple of my family members that I'm very close to. They were there, you know, and I'm just like, OK, so, you know, everything is just going good. And like I said, I can't see like where we're where we're at the destination that we're at, i can't see any of that everything is just a blur you know like i said the only thing i really could see is my family members faces and my friends faces so you know so i'm like okay you know and i'm having a good time you know just cheerful i'm happy you know what i'm saying so then um somebody comes around and they're like okay it's time to go back it's time to go back you know and we're like okay you know everybody's like oh man we got to go back everybody's freaking out by the time it was time for me to get back, you guys, to go back to the other side, I kid you not, I became I became nervous. I got scared. And remind you now, I just swim to here. Now you're saying that I got to swim back, but I'm nervous. I'm scared. There were four killer whales just sitting like just sitting there like, you know, ready for me to just like jump in the water. And I'm just like, what is going on? Like, I, I didn't see any of this, you know, on my way to this side. You know, I wasn't scared. It's like the water has gotten more muddier. I can't see, you know, I'm like, okay, what else is in here besides these four killer whales? Like, and don't get me wrong, I love me some killer whales, but I like them behind glass. I, I don't want to swim with no killer whales. You get what I'm saying? So 
it's just like, oh my God. So you guys, I just get really scared and I'm like, I can't go back. Like I, I just get nervous, you know, and I'm like, I, I can't make it back. I can't swim. And swimming is your only option to get back. You know, so I'm like, what is it? What is it? I cannot. My heart is racing. And in real life, like as I'm sleeping, I can actually feel like my heart actually racing because I'm scared. Like I cannot get to this other side. You know, I can't go back to this other side. You know, all these obstacles are, you know, at my way. So my alarm clock goes off and I'm like, you know, freaking out. My heart is just racing. I get up. I'm like, thank God that, you know, what I didn't, you know, at first it didn't dawn on me what the dream was about. But when I got in the car, it hit me. God was saying, don't go back. He was telling me when I go forward, forward is where I need to be. Do not go back. There is no reason for me to go back to anything in my life. It's whatever is in my past is in my past for a reason. And God is telling me, don't go back. You know, there's nothing, nothing is for you going back. That's why going back, there was the, the water was more muddier. There were, you know, the, the killer whales, everything. I'm scared because I was trying to go back. There's nothing for me back. Everything is for everything. My future is for everything. And he was saying, no, I can't see it. And of course we can't see the future. So that's why everything was blurry besides the, you know, the people that I seen in the dream that I was, you know, that I'm close with, you know, that's just letting me know that they're going to be there. The people that was in my dreams that I seen, they're going to be in my future, but the rest of everything was a blur because God doesn't want me to know that. But he, I know that that blur is going to be so beautiful. When I do really get to see it, it's going to be so beautiful. So my message to you, you know, God speaks to us in all kinds of ways. And I don't know if somebody else needed to hear that, but if you're going through something right now, you know what I'm saying? Look forward. You know, we, we're about in a, in another week, it's going to be 2023. We're going into a whole nother year. Look for everything that's for you is for you guys. Nothing, whatever, you know, if it's somebody that you loved and you're like, oh, I want to go back to it. Don't go back to it because that's not it. You know, if it's something, you know, you, you think, oh, well, um, I want to go move back to this place. It's not for you. You know what I'm saying? So anything that you left behind, leave it behind, leave it behind. It's not meant for you. You know what I'm saying? So I just know God was speaking to me in that moment. And he's letting me know that, you know, swimming to the other side, you know, I'm right now, I feel like in my life, I'm swimming right now. I have not made it there to the other side yet, but just knowing that I'm swimming, he was letting me know in my dreams that, you know, I got you because as sometimes we do, we, we ask God for like, you know, give me a sign that everything's going to be okay. Especially when life is going, you know, wrong, or you feel like, you know, your, your whole life is upside down and you might say, God, just give me a sign. And I did that like two weeks ago. And I was like, God, just give me a sign to let me know that you're still there. And he came in my dreams, y'all. Like he came and, you know, and I, I just felt so good that day, like that Tuesday when I got up to go to work, I was happy. I was energized. Like Tuesday was the best day. My car had been in the shop. They called me to come get my car that day. It was just, everything was amazing. I didn't have to pay anything to get my car at the shop and my car um, is leaking oil. So therefore they might have to put a new engine in it. But right now they didn't charge me anything for my car. And that is a true, that is a blessing. That is a blessing. So like I said, it's so much that I'm swimming to. So right now that I know that I'm swimming, I'm okay, you know, because I know when I do reach that other side of the lake or wherever, whatever that was, it's going to be so much better. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And again, I hope that everybody has a Merry Christmas and I hope to see you before the new year, but if not, Happy New Year and I will see you guys in 2023, but I'm hoping that I got one more video for you guys before and I will probably do another like I said part two of my Christmas haul of what I got for my aunts and stuff so as always stay true love you focus on you god bless and I'll see you guys in the next one bye